back and today I'm gonna make a WW recipe and I'm gonna make a broccoli and cheese quiche but I'm cheating I'm using ready rolled shortcrust pastry you can make your own it's um, I think you need 200 grams of plain flour, 100 grams of cold butter and a couple of tablespoons of water. That's all you need to make it but I decided to cheat. So you're supposed to have a 21 centimeter loose bottom tart tin but mine's 26 centimeters but my pastry is 375 grams and you want 225 grams so hopefully this will be fine so it's been out of the fridge for half an hour and let's unroll it and see if it fits because we might have to roll it out a bit get some scissors on there Let's see, yeah, that is too small. So I'm going to roll it out and then I'll place it on top. I think we're good. we're in so we'll just push it down a bit And then you trim the edges off. So once you've got it in and trimmed, you want to line it with some baking paper. And place on some baking beans. If you haven't got any of these, you can always use rice. So this is to do the blind bake. So this is gonna go in the oven at 200 degrees for 15 minutes. Okay, while that's in the oven, we're gonna put a large pan of water on to boil. And that is for the broccoli. So I've got a 350 gram head of broccoli. And what you're going to do is chop it up into small florets and also chop up some of the stem as well. So I'm going to do that 
and uh, come back when the pastry's blind baked. Okay, that's been 15 minutes. Now we need to remove the beans. So I've got a metal dish. There's no easy way to do this, so I've just got a tea towel. I'm just going to try and pick some up. They are hot, so be careful when removing. Okay, and then remove the paper as well. And this is going to go back in the oven for five to eight minutes until um, it's golden brown. So let's get that in. Okay, and you can see the water is boiling, so we're going to put the broccoli in. And the stalks. And we're going to cook that for three to five minutes. So once the broccoli is cooked, we are going to run it through a colander and then run cold water straight over it uh, so that it stops cooking. So once it's drained and you've cooled it down with cold water, you want to pat it dry with some kitchen roll. Um, this is so the base of the uh, pastry doesn't get too wet. Okay, so that's been in there for five minutes was all it took. Last thing to do is to take three eggs, 75 grams of creme fraiche, Two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. I've only got English mustard, so that's what I'm having. And 40 grams of low fat cheddar. And I'm just going to whisk this all together. There we go, now we are ready to put it all together. Okay, so on the base we're going to sprinkle the broccoli. And then we're going to pour over the egg mix. I haven't got quite enough because mine's bigger so I'm just going to do one more egg so 
So I've just whisked up one more egg with a little bit of creme fraiche. That's because my case is bigger than it should be. Hopefully that will be enough now. And then top off with an extra 10 grams of cheese on top. And then we are going to bake for another 25 minutes. Okay, it's been 25 minutes and that's what we've ended up with. So I'm going to let this cool down for a bit before we try and get it out. Okay, so it's cooled down so now we need to get it out. So get a tin. And if you lift this on top. Should be able to get the case off. There you go. So I've got it on a plate, it's actually a little bit bigger than my plate. Um, so if you've done the 21 centimetre, you should cut this into six. So you've got six portions there, but mine's bigger, so I'm going to cut it into eight. And there we have it. Nice bit of quiche. So there's how we make the quiche. Now let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. That broccoli is good. Mmm. Ideally, you serve that with a salad. I haven't got any salad left, so I'm not eating all of that tonight, but some of it will go in the freezer and some will be for lunch tomorrow. So stay safe, stay home, keep on experimenting in the kitchen. You've got the time, so hopefully this will all be over soon. See you later.